it's your girl Tweet, and you are watching The Scorpion Show with Kevin and Mikkel. Make sure y'all like and share this video, please. And also make sure y'all go to iTunes, Amazon, all that, and buy my new EP. It's called Simply Tweet, the EP. And look out for the album. It's coming soon. Bye. Yes. <laughs>
Everybody was enjoying themselves. Just partying, having a real fucking good time. I don't know who that DJ was. If y'all go to Woody's, I know somebody see me there because they love my Instagram. Yeah, I see me wobbling, but they didn't speak to me. But anyway, you know, I need to know who that DJ is because that DJ right there, I loved him. And then there's a discrepancy with our DJ, which I got to talk to you about. So, right. you know, oh, oh, okay, yeah, yes. I didn't even talk about it. I didn't even get a chance to talk to you about it yet. I'll tell I'll tell you off the camera. You know. Don't tell don't tell, don't tell me he got amnesia. <clears throat> Did he? <clears throat> he got amnesia. We're gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that today. Cause I take cause I told you he told me. <laughs> he told me. Cause I was standing right there when he told me. I know, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it cute on this video. That's a shame. You know, people will do you like that. They'll do you dirty like that, and it's a shame. You know? It's a shame. Mm -hmm. And he seemed like a really nice guy. I would hope that he wouldn't do that. Mm. I hope so, too. Cause Maybe you know, I should call him and say, you know, I, sh I would hope that you wouldn't do that. Because I remember what you said to me distinctly when we were standing there behind your truck when it started pouring down raining. Mm -hmm. Now, why would I make that up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't make that up. Why the hell would I make that up? Yeah. I didn't even pay for him, so why would I make that up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Why would I make that up? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would make that up if I paid. I didn't even pay for you, so why would I lie and make that up? Don't do that. That's not nice. But come on. Yeah, so, you know, we just had a really good time. And last night, you know, I went out. Brandon really showed his ass last night. I mean, I've, you know, I'm not going to go in on Brandon. But, you, you know, know Brandon, you showed your ass. And you know you did. So don't try to change it up either. But I just had a really good weekend. And, and you know, I hope y'all had a good weekend too. You know, we watched the Billboard Music Awards. Uh uh. What was that about? No, I was just no, I was I wasn't signed because of the story. I was signed because of the Billboard Music Awards. It was um, horrible. Okay. I didn't recognize anybody from the. Uh, Let me tell you, I didn't. I didn't. Know that was works. the lip syncs of all lip syncs. Okay. Never seen nothing like that in my life. Everybody wants to lip sync or sing to a backing track. Don't try to get Kristen Aguilera no slack. She's a fucking oh, I singer. Didn't see her. Yeah, she sang with Pitbull. And she was singing to a damn bank contract. I mean, I'm like, oh my God. Who else? Miguel and Miguel and Bruno Mars were the best two singers on that whole I didn't see Prince. I cut it off at ten o'clock. I just excuse me. I just couldn't. I mean I already seen J Lo performing American Idol. She probably did the same shit. Um with a different outfit. Yeah, with a different outfit. And she always looks good, but she always looks good. So it's a different thing. So then the Gomez was giving me J Lo tees. Like yeah, she's very pretty, yeah. but I mean, that performance, she could have kept that. She could have. And then somebody, you, because you know the girls, are quick for finding stuff. Somebody pulled up the Hillary Duff performance that Selena Gomez got. Oh, my God. And <laughs> sent it to me on Wednesday and said, oh, I guess Beyonce's not the only one that still stuff. See, oh, see, man. They, try, right? they always be trying to... Well, uh, you know, they, they're quick to find something. And I've been thinking, things. like, who the fuck has time to worry about who Selena Gomez took something from? I know, and it don't even matter. I mean, <laughs> Selena is getting Disney checks, and, you know, she's selling albums, and... She's doing really good. I mean, but I'm just not here for her performance because she didn't give me what I wanted. Like, I could see if she was, like, really dancing and was into it. I was just bored. Yeah. Um, that was my first time knowing that she was actually a singer. I thought she was an actress. She, she said, she was if you, Grant, if you work for Disney, you're singing and dancing. Like, I mean, singing and acting. And, you know, but um, she was, she was all right. Bruno Mars really did it for me opening up the show. He did a great job. Um, Miguel... I just want to tell you something, Miguel. You can't be going around jumping over shit if you didn't rehearse that. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, I was just feeling it. I got into it and... And just jump. Jump. And you could have broke that girl fucking neck, bitch. And then hug the wrong girl. <laughs> okay. Because he could have been hug her. And then the girl still reached in for her. Like, it's... All right. Yeah. She's in the back, but it's all right. Like, girl, I would have had my lawyer ready. They talking about... What? what? Talking about, you got to... Uh, they probably got to sign releases. No, they're not signed. No, I hope not. No, not, not for nobody jumping on yeah. their fucking... Excuse me, jumping on their neck. Yeah. First of all, the minute he would have hit my neck... I would have hit the floor so hard, and if that girl would have tried to help me, I would say, bitch, if you don't get your hands the fuck off of me and let me lay here. Okay. okay. And, he, and he jumped on two girls. Because one girl's grabs her damn Okay. Neck. And sometimes you don't feel it until after. Okay. Okay. Trust me, I know. Sometimes you don't feel it until it's over. Can you feel it? Mm -mm -mm. Whoa! So, so nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Now wait, Miguel, <laughs> let me tell you something. And I got a corn note, dude. <laughs> you what happened? <laughs> Baby. And everybody got these Miguel pictures, and of course, you know, I had to join in and, and repost somebody's picture. But Miguel, you know, this really made you a big star today. I mean, like, <laughs> it's going to hurt your pockets, though, if that girl's smart. Okay. I hope, I hope he give us okay. something. Because if it was me, I'd have been mm -hmm. cashing in all the way to the bank, okay? Just, I would have had tied from my church for a whole two months, okay? Mm -hmm. I would have had my car paid off. I would have had... <laughs> <laughs> I done went to KFC and got all I could, all you could eat. And but wait a minute, with those pants being so tight, like how was he able to jump? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't have did no shit. I mean, now I'm an acrobatic kind of guy, oh and a lot God. of people see y'all. Y'all think, oh, oh this big bitch. God. Oh, I could do a lot of if shit. You jumped on somebody's neck. Oh no, I don't jump on people's necks. I would hope not. Okay, I don't got time. For that, okay? I would hope I would run and jump into a pool. I would run and jump over a puddle. You don't need to be running I, and jumping on anything. I am I am a very... Y'all see me jumping on Tawanda's uh, trampoline? I'm athletic. You know, I... Can, athletic? Athletic. Oh. Bitch, you heard me. I'm about to say, I'm sure that ass is athletic. No, I, no, no, no. Yours is athletic. No, 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 no. no, no. You do all kinds of tricks. No, right? we know what you, you know, like to I, do. I, you don't know what I'm saying? I don't know what I like to do. I said we. What you know? What I like to do? <laughs> we know what you like to do. What you like? What you did? All right. No. Because right. if I was there, trust me, I wouldn't be here. No. I'd be in somebody's <laughs> closet somewhere. Bye, Queen. You know, so what was we talking about? Bye, Ashy. Mm, bye, Ashy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of bye, Ashy, because I'm not talking about <laughs> Girl, she done got locked out her own house by Wait, Cordell. wait, wait. When we talk about Madonna, Madonna look Well, I know. We're going to get there. But Cordell oh. locked her out the fucking house. I know. This is just a quick story. he's a queen. He changed the locks and said, no, bitch, you can't come in. <laughs> no matter how many times she locked, you can't get back. But that's, that's you know, that's happening when Cordell we deal with like that. There goes those keys. <laughs> Not opening this door. Oh, my. Mmm. Oh, you man, walk walked to the door and then trying to... First of all, this is my question. You can't kick nobody out like that. Huh? He divorced her on Twitter. Why can't he kick her out like that? I don't that? think it was divorced. I mean, well, wait a minute. But how do you... Uh, wait a minute. Why is she still going to their house? Because she was still living there. But where is he living at? They was both living in the same house. They, I guess they were She was still out. living in a house with a man who didn't... Who filed for divorce and didn't tell her. But where, where is she to go? Where does a, where She don't have money of her own? I don't, look, I don't and if she don't, then that's the mother... In problem. I don't. You mean to tell me you ain't got no money saved off, stashed off to the that's, side? That's what any woman should be doing. I'm just. Mm. Look, but he, but he's a very controlling man. But who's the fool? Both of them, actually. Who's both. the bigger fool? Portia, of course. Okay. I'm just saying. She the one that put herself in a predicament. First of all, if you file for divorce and you don't even tell me you file for divorce, and I find out from Twitter or any blog site. Why do you think I would be coming back to the house that you and I share with each other unless I'm getting my belongings and moving out? Why would you Because everybody, that? you know, they don't think like that. Well, they should start. You know why? Because that's why I said what I said a few weeks ago. I guarantee you if he decides to apologize to her makeup or she'll take him right on back. Because Portia's head is about as empty as this. Well, this bag isn't empty. Portia's head is about as empty as this. Is your head. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just no. saying, because some days my head do be empty. Okay? Which head? Portia's head is. I got it. <laughs> Portia's head is about as empty as Kevin's ass is right now. Oh, oh it's never full, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The lies. It's never. Girl, <laughs> nah. Ain't nobody got time for Mikael. Yeah, I know we don't. You know. <laughs> but I can tell his been empty a while. What, my head? Well, I don't know if that's. I don't know what you've been doing with that end. Talking about the other end, but first of all, you let's not go there. Let's let's change this subject. Yeah, Madonna, <laughs> Madonna, baby, you better rock out with your cock out. Yes, because <laughs> I don't let them girls have it. Okay, yesterday. she walked out there with a brown panty set. Mm -mm. That face <laughs> was painted, and jo and she borrowed Jocelyn Hernandez's fur. Mm -mm -mm. Except the hers is black. She said, "Hey, mate," if she came out there and said, "Hey, mate," I'd have fell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what Madonna said. All I kept thinking of was, was us. Madonna is the queen of pop. I don't give a fuck how many people get mad that I said it. You could throw up, yeah, that you love Janet. So what? I'm able to face the facts. I don't give a fuck what you say. It's Beyonce. I don't believe that's the truth. 
because Madonna is a bitch that done been here since the 80s. She's always switched up her style. No matter what album she had or what album she was doing, she always kept it fresh. Madonna, she might not be able to sell a record today, but that bitch can sell a fucking ticket to her show. Now, mind you, her album is a good ten dollars. A good Madonna seat is three fifty at the uh, at the lowest. Oh, at the lowest. Okay. And that bitch is going around it's selling, selling making all of that money. So, mind you, they're buying a three hundred dollars yes. ticket, but they won't buy a ten dollar album. Okay. Because they would rather see in person. Yes. So that that yeah, that because I ain't buying no Madonna album. Okay, and mind know. you, you make more of your money from your tours than your motherfucking albums anyway. So I guess the album is just a commitment to the damn label because she's making more money than she's probably getting from the album. And mind you, Madonna is her first name. Yes, Madonna Chaconi. Just like Prince is a uh, Prince, Prince name. Prince, I think it because I, I think his father was a Prince. Name. Is his last name Rogers? I, I mean, know. I don't mean his father was a Prince, Prince, but I think his father, father was, was Prince. Prince. Yeah. But Madonna, bitch, you better fucking do it. And as long as you keep charging them and they dumb enough to buy them tickets, and I will be dumb enough one of these days because I do want to see you in concert. You know, I just want to go to a Madonna concert. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely do. Um, Madonna is just that bitch. And then, if you still don't believe it, she has all the receipts, baby. All the receipts. The tour tickets. You know, the highest grossing tour. Mm -hmm. Two! Of all time, it's one right behind the other. Madonna, you better fucking do that. She's been doing her thing for over 30 years. Yes. Ooh. And it's still that bitch. Mm -mm. Ain't that something? And Madonna don't even have to put out an album to go on to her. She, she could just do it. Just do it. So, I mean, I mean, y'all know I love Jane and everything, but no. it's She's like, when you the queen, the girls come and bow down. My, my girl don't have it like, like she used to. It's She hit a rough patch after that Super Bowl. Fiasco. It really that was the really But Jana Jackson. But I, I know but that was really Jana like but that Jana was Jackson really like but that was yes yeah, she do, yeah. but that was like the turning point of her career. When that when Justin Timberlake ripped that titty off, that was the the the, the beginning of Janet's uh the downfall of her career a little bit. But hopefully she can pick it back up because everybody get that slump. And Janet, when you, I just heard about you doing this new album about to come out. You did an interview with Billboard talking about the 20th anniversary of the Janet album. And you discussed that you're working on new music. So I am excited. I say take your time. Don't be in no rush because these girls today, you know, try by. What was 20 YO about? 20 20 anniversary YO was celebrating her 20 years of, of being a successful artist, okay? Because she had albums before that. But, you know, they didn't do as great starting with Control. But then this 20 years is about... No, this 20 is about the Janet album that came out in 1993. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So okay, it's, it's 20, the album is 20 years old today. Well, a couple of days ago. On Saturday. So, you know, but that album... That album, the Janet album, all for you... Like, all the Janet albums from Control to All For You were great. Even to me, the Joe. It was a great album. But 20 Y.O. It's like my least favorite Janet album. And Discipline was a good album, but they didn't pick the right the right songs, but they don't have that caliber like the previous albums. And hopefully Janet gets back with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis and they write some great songs. And maybe Janet can work with some of the hottest producers out today. Especially Mike Will, because Mike Will has been producing a lot of songs and he's been doing really great, great with them. So Janet <laughs> You got some work to do, and just, but just take your time. Cause there ain't no rush to be work, working with these bitches out here today, to be in them amongst them. They're not really. Don't 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 kill yourself. Just do Janet, and you'll be all right. But um, I miss Prince on the Billboard Music Awards. I turned it off at ten o'clock. It was just. But I did like Taylor Swift. I don't like Taylor Swift's music. Don't get me wrong, but that bitch can write a song like that, and it could be a hit. Mm -hmm. Because I never heard of that song, and I found myself halfway singing the song being about 22. If something about 22 and this not what I normally do, or something, 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 you did that tell her. But, um, she was singing about being a virgin at 22. Oh, well, I hope not. I, know, I remember those days when I was a virgin at 22. Oh, you were? Yeah. <laughs> and which way? <laughs> Are you still a virgin? <laughs> American Idol. Mm -hmm. Woo! 
so America Idol was this Thursday, and congratulations again, it's Glover, because we did say she was going on the show. I mean, Candace, Candace, C-A-N-D-I-C-E, Glover. Is anybody surprised? I no. mean, I'm not surprised at all. It was a great, this was a great America Idol finale at some points. Good seeing the old artist, but, um... The show was just missing, to me, it was missing that superstar American Idol list. Because, I mean, American Idol, when it's the finale American Idol, it used to be like, oh, my God, who's coming out next? Like, who's, who's going to do what? Who's going to do this? And it's like, when you're anticipating on seeing people, it's like, oh, man. And they don't, especially when they don't live up to what they're supposed to do. I don't know what the fuck that was with Mariah Carey. You know, Trent, Trent, Trent saying that she sang live. Uh, uh, wait, wait, don't do it. You know, Cause I can name a few parts. It was one part where she, she, I don't know what song it was, but she said because her lips said because, <laughs> but the track was still on the other word. Stop, <laughs> because stop. Okay, wait. I said, oh, wait. Right. I caught you. Wait, because you know Trent. You know. Oh, come Trent, now. Trent said, oh, this oh was, come now. She recorded that performance on Monday. Yeah, that's what a lot of them were saying. Into the show on Tuesday. So she was up to it. But they said she was really saying oh, loud, but they edited it wrong. Oh, come on. But for me, when I was looking at the performance, it's like her mouth is not even moving with the words. <laughs> oh, got it. So who is Kevin? So you ain't got cataracts. <laughs> Oh, I know. I know. Okay, so me and you was watching the same damn thing. Okay, now, I don't like, know what Trent was watching, but I know what I was watching. I'm like, okay. But then it, during some parts, though, Mariah didn't sound like the Mariah I know. But the when has she said? Oh, I gotta pull my junk out for that one. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Mariah Carey is that bitch, but Mariah Carey ain't sound like Mariah Carey mm. since. The Monica Lewinsky scandal, mm -hmm. okay? No, she ain't sound like Mariah Carey since she got up on that stage mm -hmm. um, with Whitney Houston at the Oscars and said, Let's say, I, I, I was trying to figure out why Mariah did all those songs. What? I mean, is it to throw shade at Nicki Minaj? Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and then she stood there like a princess and didn't yes. and it's Always that one hand. <laughs> So Mariah did her thing. Start singing. Start singing. I'm going to show you how Mariah was on America Idol. Just sing a song. Baby, when you left, I lost a part of me. It's still so hard to believe. Come back, baby, please, because we belong together. Who else am I going to lean on when turns gear up? Who's going to talk to me on the phone till the sun comes up? Who's gonna take your place? There ain't nobody there. Oh, baby, baby, we belong together. I feel good. I feel nice. That's how she was. I feel so satisfied. Mariah, Mariah. Carey, I was like, Mariah, girl. <laughs> when are you gonna start singing along with the track, okay? And then J Lo and Pitbull come out, okay? I mean, I like Pitbull, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna come. I'm, no, don't do it. Just J Lo and Pitbull. Why don't y'all make an album together? I think that that's something that y'all should have been doing a long time. Every summer, y'all got a song together. It, it's like now. It's like since 2011, it never fails that y'all do a song together. Either. Who you on your song? You on his song? Do a fucking album together and make that motherfucking money, or go on tour. That would be hot if y'all went on tour together. Pitbull and J Lo tour. Bam, and y'all get all the Latinos to come out, and then me, my adopted, you know, Latino, I will come out and support the show. Because I want to see her. Yeah, it's Boricuas. I want to see her okay. in concert. Si, senor. Si, senor. I know that's right. So, um, what else? But I got to give it to Aretha motherfucking Franklin oh. because oh. I was oh. not oh. expecting to see Riri. I would throw shit. Well, I'm about to show, I'm about, you know, what? my hair, the way my head is looking on my yeah. head at this very moment, it kind of looked the way Aretha's did. I'm going to pull it back. <laughs> I, I can see the gray under that boy. Oh, hey, child. She was not staged. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, Ryan Ryan said we got Aretha by your satellite. Okay. And she's live. All I saw oh, was gray and wig. <laughs> I knew where the real hair started, but I didn't know where the wig started. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I said, what the? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay
It was almost as if Aretha just threw that thing on the ground. <laughs> Nobody pulled his tongue. Ready. Nobody said, here, mama. <laughs> she like she did a makeup with a butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. She looked like she had that. a whole curtain on as a dress. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. She did sound good. Yeah, she to be seventy-one good. years old, mm -hmm. she was up there singing. I don't know she was coming out, baby. Okay, she was. <laughs> she may have looked a hot ass mess, <laughs> but they did that. Okay, they all did that. that. And then Mariah it. was sitting there with her hand up while Mar Aretha was singing, cause Mariah knows no, yeah. who paved the way. Okay. Okay. So shout out to Aretha Franklin. I mean, to be seventy-one and can still sing, that's amazing. So, did you see the tribute, uh, the thing that they had with uh, a few, like some years ago, with Aretha Mariah, Celine, and all of them, when they did, uh... The Divas Live? Yeah. I'm not, I, I probably seen it, but don't remember it. Like a natural woman. Yeah, yeah they killed that. Oh, you two, that. It's Celine mm -hmm. Dion, Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey, Gloria Estefan. Yeah, that was probably like Divas 99. Yeah, no, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere. 99 or 2000. Yes. When I tell you they, and that was around the time when Mariah and Aretha still still had it. Mm -hmm. You know, that was right before they. But had I it think them. Mariah still got it. Mariah I mean, don't sound like she did she thirteen years she ago. Don't sound like, no, of no, course not. No. Uh -uh. See, I, don't Celine, know, I don't know Mariah smoked. Celine tonight. Dion still yeah. sounds like she did thirteen years ago. But see, they said <laughs> Celine Dion lip sync. But I went to her show in Vegas, and she didn't sound like she was lip syncing to me. <laughs> she done made me fucking cry at that show. <laughs> Singing like this. Singing. She sang some lip song. Like I, was, I was crying. She said, Oh, sing to shame. Because Beyonce sounded a mess. No, they didn't say she sounded a mess. They said that she didn't get the pronunciations right. Sure. Which she didn't, okay. But she still mm -hmm. sounded good. And I mean, when she just learned the words in the week, I mean, hey, she, yeah, I know Beyonce's not French. French. Yeah, yeah. Bali from France. <laughs> Somebody said, somebody wrote me that picture with Blue Eyes. Somebody said, Solange brought out the comb and the rubber bands. Because you know Solange did it. Sure. <laughs> I don't shut my mouth before I get cursed okay. out. Okay. All right. But okay. shout out to Candace Glover and everybody who performed the make. Oh, my God. No. Before we even stop that. <laughs> Jennifer Lo oh, Hudson. <laughs> okay. Let me tell you. All that fucking shouting on our TV. Oh, oh, keep that now, shouting to oh, a minimum. Now keep, that, wait, keep that shit to a minimum, okay? I'm, I'm coming up the her. steps. I'm coming up the steps. You know, because I'm trying to see what I'm about to eat downstairs. And I come upstairs with my plate. And all I hear is this yelling coming through the TV. And I'm saying, who is that? I look on the TV, it's fucking Jennifer Hudson and, and Candace. Candace. And you don't even hear Candace. No. Jennifer. And then Candace trying to sing the song. And Jennifer. and Jennifer trying to scream that shit out. Like always. And then Jennifer cracks me up when she gives that surprise look at the end. Like, <gasps> yeah, just because you can. She needs somebody that can help her control that big. Her voice is too big to not know how to control that. Damn. <laughs> Then they gotta turn her voice down. I don't, I don't know if y'all catch the shade, but they turn her down on I Got the Power commercial because her voice is so powerful. It's coming through the fucking TV so that muted, and you can still hear her yelling and screaming on that shit. <laughs> on me. Yeah! I got, I, I got the power. That makes you not want to listen to I Got the Power. She's got you start the power. thinking that Jennifer's about to pop up any minute now. Start thinking I Got the Power. No, you don't have that power on my damn Oh, brain, that used to be my song back in the day. I got the power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got the power. You sure do, girl. <laughs> so be quiet. You be the fuck quiet. <laughs> I missed that performance. By the time I turned back to American Idol, they had just got finished singing. So mm -hmm. I hear I go, thank you, Jesus. Okay. I missed that. She okay. She had that horrible looking wig on. See, I don't even, I, I think she just had on black. I don't remember what she it did. That wig was a mess. I, honestly, I don't remember all of that. I do. I just remember that fucking yelling. Oh, that yelling. How was she yelling? What, what song were they singing? I don't know. I didn't get to see it. I don't remember. She was just fucking yelling. Too much for me. She's always... When is she not yelling? Look. Come on. Let's be real. I, I want a Fantasia to be there. I want a Fantasia to come back one good time. I already know she came back once. But I just want her to be on that finale. The new body. With the new body and the new style is Fantasia. Yes, Fantasia is... She's so purified now. I don't know where she got rebaptized okay. at. She, but Fantasia, you fucking took doing it, baby. She did that. <laughs> Take me to the water. Yeah. 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 Take me to the water. Ow. Let me ask you a question. Now you've been watching the Sheards. Oh uh, yes. Ooh, it was Who good. Who you last watching night. for? It was good last night. It was good. 
Yeah. Was it last night when I watched? Yes, yeah, last night was Sunday. Yeah, and, I, I, and, I, I, I'm trying it? to find the episodes in. The dad told the son off and then told the people to turn the cameras off. He cursed them out? Like, told did the they beat by curse words? No, because you know the dad's a bit uh, vicious. Uh, mm-hmm. The son cussed. So, I watched the shares. You know, Cameron Clark show. It's really good. I really like it. I gotta watch it. It's mostly, the it's mostly about the, the two kids, the son and the daughter, Kiara and her brother, Jay Drew. Mm hmm. So it's, mo- oh, oh, it's, oh, mostly like that, huh? it's mostly about those two. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Kiera's trying to be a, a, a up and coming singer. singer. She she's is. trying to do her own thing. She's trying to stick to gospel, but she's also trying to make it like a little mainstream. Jay Drew, the brother, he's just trying to go out of gospel. He don't want to be in gospel no That's more. Right. You mean, know, he wants to do his yeah, own thing, yeah. which is understandable. But of course, his mother him. and father, who was his mother, legendary Karen Clark no, Shears no, from the Clark Sisters, and his father is a bishop, mm-hmm. um, have his own church, his mother's the first lady of the church. Okay. So his father and his mother want them to kind of stick to the church route. So, okay, so every time, first of all with Karen, the mom, every time Karen listens to something that J. Drew is doing, she always, and you know, this ain't the way, this ain't godly. You gotta, and I'm just like, oh, Cameron, just let this boy be. <laughs> Let's let him do him. You know, honestly, like, he ain't going the way, you know, and you, you know, you gotta stick to what the gift that God gave you. And oh, oh my God. You know, I love Cameron Parker. Cameron, girl, please let him just do him. So last night, Kiera is working with. So her brother is uh, like producing, he's making songs for his sister. Mm-hmm. And so she is also working with Rodney Jerkins. So Rodney Jerkins came out with this song, um, that guy who also wrote with Tamar, the heavy set guy, what's his name? The he oh. No, the other one. The one who was on the show with Tamar at one point and she was playing in the studio. TC. Yeah. Okay. He was on this episode last night too. So he had wrote the song, Kiera didn't really like the song because she said that she wanted to be able to help write the song too. But whatever the case may be, she went in the studio and she sang it. So, so then she met up with her brother and was like, look, I'm going to choose the song that Riley did for me for, to be my first video. And of course, her brother was upset because he wanted the song that he made for her to be her first what's the name. First so name. she's like, well, you know, let me work with Rodney. And when I get well established, then I'll come and do something with you, yeah. which makes sense. So then, the, you know, he didn't want to see that. So then they had an argument at the house again, another discussion about it at the house. And this time, the mom and the dad was a part of it. So while they're going back and forth, the mom and the dad is siding with the daughter. And they're like, you know, let this be a stepping stone for her. And then once she gets out there with Rodney, then what's the name? And then J. Drew's like, no, because, you know, this, that, and the third, so whatever the case may be. Because he knows more. I don't know how you know more about them. Oh, right? he's and great. Yeah. So then he says something to the sister. And he says something about such, such, such hell. The dad snapped. And the dad said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How dare you say that in front of me? How dare you cuss? So then, you know, he was like, no, no, it's not like that. It's that third. So then the dad was like, you know. So then he going back and forth. So then all of a sudden the dad came out of nowhere and was like, I'm appalled that you would even disrespect me like that. And and the son was like, no, but I wasn't being disrespectful. I'm just saying. He was like, no, no, no. You don't use that kind of language in front of me. Like, I'm your father. This, that, and the third. So then he got up out of his seat. Okay? And when you... Anybody who knows about the man of God, especially a pastor, when they get up out of his seat, okay? He got up out of his seat and told him, no, 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 no. You don't, you don't talk like that in front of me. Don't disrespect me like that. So then he told the camera, hold on, turn these cameras off. So then all of a sudden, the camera started going down, you know, turn, turn them off. Of course, you know, it was that one shady camera guy who didn't turn the camera off. Oh, yeah. so, okay. So the camera was dirt turned down. So the dad was like, yeah, you don't disrespect me like that. You don't ever talk to talk like that in front of me. So then he told the guy, take this microphone off of me. The dad went off. And the whole time, Cameron Clark was just sitting there because you know in the household when the dad's me. You be quiet. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, in a way, Jay, Jay, the son was not really, he was letting out his frustration to his sister and it just so happens that hell came out in his argument. But I understood where the dad was coming from because I think the dad was trying to say, you let your emotions get you so wound up that now you're using language in front of me and your mother that you ain't really supposed to be using. Which is understandable because you don't ever want to talk like that in front of your parents, especially when your father is a bishop of a church. Like, come on, dude, don't be disrespectful like that, Jay. But... It was really good. Like I really like the Shears, and I think y'all all should watch it. I want to see where this goes with Kiera. Um, I really wish that Karen Clark would just let her kids do them and let them. Because it's not like they're, to me, I just feel as though they're not straying away from the church. I mean, they grew up in the church. They know God. They know the word. They know all of that. But, I mean, it, it just makes me mad that 
some these church people think that oh, if you sing R and B, oh, yeah, like you going you're, to hell, yeah. you going against the church. Come on, mm-hmm. everything ain't against I mean, you the can, church. Yeah. And you don't you don't think about God and what you're doing. Like you can still sing R and B, you can still mm-hmm. sing gospel, and still be successful. Look at Aretha Franklin. Mm-hmm. Look at yes. freaking Fantasia. Look at Pay LaBelle. All look of at them. Look at Mahel. Mahel didn't sing R&B. No. But, you know, all these successful people. Whitney they, Houston? They, yes! Come on, bitch. Now curse me out, Jay Drew and them. Curse me the fuck out. <laughs> okay. I love the Lord. And then what she yes. said, I'm <laughs> every woman. No, no, no. Look. We're doing Mr. Porter. I'm <laughs> Everyone. Y'all gotta know Martin to know that one. <laughs> it's all in me. Anything, Anything you want done, baby, I'll, I'll do, do it naturally. naturally. Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Boy! The way she wants to jump on that skirt. Anything you want done, baby, I'll do it naturally. <laughs> naturally. Whoa! Whoa! Then she asked the wall. Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta find that. Classic Martin. You can't get no better than old Martin. Mm-hmm. Not when it was about to end. The old Martin from 92, 93. He said, whoa, whoa. Before Martin started acting crazy. Before he got his talk show. Yeah. Yeah. When he was on the radio. <laughs> I'll do it naturally. <laughs> Let me see if this the Martin. Hold up. It is it. I need to do auditions. It's Fast that forward. Time of year, Martin. It's Fast forward. Yeah, let me. Yeah. I'm every woman. It's all in me. Look. Everything you want done, baby. When they went on a double date with Stan and Myra. <laughs> and that and that hurt. But yeah. when Myra first walked in that apartment, oh. and then Martin gonna ask him one first is this real? I was like, ah, shut up. <laughs> what? I haven't seen that episode in so long. Oh man. The TV watch show Martin every day, and I don't even be watching it. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Huh? So well, that's what we were saying. Yeah, yeah so the chairs. Yeah, Let them know. Yeah, I'm just tired of that. Oh, you can't go this yes. route because God is not what you God is here. And mm-hmm. you know, you you should you can talk to God on what decisions mm-hmm. you want to do. He needs you on where you can where you should go also. Mm-hmm. You know, when you talk to him and find out which way I should go, because he's led me in some great directions and I lay here and talk to him at night. You know, it's not all the time. Where I'd be looking for direction, but if I be like, oh my God, I don't know, just show me. And he showed me if it's in a dream or if it's just in front of me and it happens, you know. So I, I, I just don't like it when, you know, when the churchy, churchy, churchy people try to preach to you and tell you all the things that you should be doing. You can't live for your parents. I'm pretty sure that they are grown people. Mm-hmm. You have to live for you and not. You know, what my mother want me to do. What my father want me to do. What is it that you want to do? Because you got to live your life. They're not paying your motherfucking bills. But you know what it is? Karen Clark came from that old school. I know. I mom. seen her on yeah. um, um, some. Uh, and yeah. they mom ain't uh, play that. Okay? What? what? They mom, bitch. What the fuck? I get downstairs right now. Who left this? No, see, it was in making them sing if a song came to her mind and if you ain't singing right, you get back slapped. Well, hey, see, ain't nobody. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute, because I don't think I've ever come across a choir director Ooh. like Maddie Moss. Oh, oh okay. she... <laughs> You like them. Oh, God. And she looked like she didn't play with those glasses mm-hmm. on, because you know, I don't think I've ever seen the crack a smile. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I think that that's where Karen Clark, she's so used, she's come from that school where her parents dictated what they did, and now she's trying to dictate 
how you can't, you you can't, can't do that. Especially and plus, we in the twenty first century. Oh, 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 say that again. The twenty first. Uh, uh, this ain't the sixties and seventies and eighties, Cameron. This is two thousand. I didn't do a smell to this. No. Uh uh-uh, uh. No 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 no. no, no. Send you see, senor. No. No. <laughs> but the way to dad snap. I'm sure the way to dad snap on the brothers probably on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It probably got there. And yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna look for it on BET. I hope they got. I'm gonna yeah. see the shares because I didn't see it when, like when it first came on. So I can get into it. Like I want to see all the episodes of Married to Medicine before I talk about all of it. But I seen the first. I mean the last hour Married to Medicine last night. And I know y'all been wanting me to talk about it, but I've been waiting for a marathon and it didn't have a marathon. But I will say this. Mariah, Tamar Braxton, you know, that's Tamar Braxton, and Quad is Tamar Braxton Jr. Jr. I just feel like these are two women close to their 40s. Why are they talking like, I don't want to say that word, but why are they talking like two fag hags? How about that? That's what they just remind me of. I don't know no women that talk like, yes, what's the tea, girl? Yes, and I'm here and she's here. I don't know no girls that talk like that. So it's just, you know, they just drain me too much. Then they're going back and forth with the girl Toya. Yes, Toya shouldn't have told the, the uh, I guess it, it was no fucking secret though. It was no fucking secret about this girl not being that child's father. I mean, the, that man not being that child's father. So she told somebody in the damn salon. That's what people do talking in the salon. She didn't say it with no malicious intent. She said it because she thought everybody else knew. If the fucking doctor knew um, about it, what makes you think that nobody else knew? And how is it going to get back to your daughter that, oh, that that man is not her father? It was just too much going on. And that, you know... With well, the, you know, stuff gets back to kids. Yeah, stuff can get back to kids, but you know what? It was no secret if everybody else knew. But it's something about Mariah that she don't like about Toya. Even though Toya, Toya's not the best person, no. No, she's not. But you can be mean to a person. She's just too mean to one person. Like, it's like... You look down on her and you want her to beg for your forgiveness and all of that. And Mariah, ain't nobody got fucking time for that, bitch. Like, she's just, she just, she just do too much for me. She, she thinks she's the queen and I don't see it. I really just don't see it. Um, then, you know, she, the girl apologizes to you and you still not over it. You still hating. You want to plan this, oh, I'm going to have a Bangladeshi dinner and I'm going to show these bitches how you really do things. Mm-hmm. And then it hurt her that Toya nor the other girl came because you planned that dinner with bad intentions. Mm-hmm. You wanted to set that dinner up to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to show these bitches how to do it so you can sit back with Quad and act like two fag hags all fucking night. And then you want to um, get mad when Dr. Jerry, Dr. Jerry, Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie be telling y'all the real shit. And for these girls to be almost 40, it's just sad to see them acting like that. So then Dr. Simone said, you know, she let her know, like, you, you, what's going on? Like, you are too evil. You're too this. You're too that. And she didn't want to hear that. The whole plan backed up and blew up in her face. That's why she was so sad because she couldn't sit there and boast about what she has in her house and what she's mm-hmm. doing. And, and it's not even about that. If anybody makes you so mad, tell them what the fuck it is that makes you so mad about them. And if you can't be friends, you can't be friends. You shouldn't have to be fighting nobody yeah. at 40 years old. Because I ain't be, I don't got time to be out here fighting people. Mm-hmm. I will argue with my friends. Mm-hmm. And I've never said, you know what, if you can't be friends with me, can't, no, bitch, you know what, I'll just catch you at some other time. Mm-hmm. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. Ain't no need to fight about it. If you were that mad about that girl, you know, talking about your daughter, at somebody's party is not the place to do that. You could have told her that at dinner, bitch. And then if you want to throw chairs and tables and drinks, do it there. Come on. That's when you do that shit. You don't do that at nobody's party. Then y'all want to... At first, I thought that it's Carrie, like, no, bitch, I don't want these ghetto black bitches. No. She know how y'all act when y'all get drunk. Mm-hmm. When y'all get drunk. And then y'all out there tearing up her shit. Ain't okay. nobody going to get and drunk at my house. Okay. Tearing up my tearing shit. Tearing up my shit. And I'm not even drunk. Yeah. And then go to all this else. Oh, she got a problem with black. No, she ain't got no problem with she black people. Problem with drunk yeah. blacks. Yeah, but drunk Dennis. black people. Ratchet, okay? Okay. I have a problem with drunk ratchet yeah, ass. Yeah, because she know how y'all get. She, okay. she knows how to get. <laughs> I know how to get too. 
And I know how I get you. Get me, don't get me mad. Shit, and I'm going to Florida next week, and I won't get turned up at this Iraq party. And they like, you get you mad. Don't get me. They be like, yeah, bitch, I don't like you, but where's Mikkel? <laughs> now, bitch, you knew Mikkel wasn't going to be here. Be here. Oh, that's the shit that get me mad. <laughs> and, you know Baby, that's and you know Mikkel ain't that first Friday. Why would you ask me where's Mikkel? <laughs> you know Mikkel wasn't invited to this. Why would you ask <laughs> Mikkel, oh, it's Mikkel at Tamar House. Oh no, he didn't get an invite. And on time. <laughs> on time. <laughs> Y'all be trying it. Tell me, oh, I think y'all got something to get. No. <laughs> Don't what tell me that. What did that guy say? Oh, he couldn't come because he couldn't afford his ticket to LA. Oh my God, I didn't mean. That's what the fuck you did, bitch. <laughs> Look at my face with that bullshit. He lucky I'm on that drunk. <laughs> Uh, but Malik handled that one real fast. Oh, you know, man. So, so yeah, so, you know, so I can't I can't believe they're having a reunion. I mean, they only had about maybe six or seven <laughs> episodes. Well, I hope they do. I hope they start fighting yeah. at the reunion. Oh, yeah. That's where you start fighting. Yeah, they're they going to fight. <laughs> And they Bravo and the reunion. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I hope you yeah. have a whole hour about that fight. Yes. Oh, cause that's the main thing. Everybody, <laughs> it was about that girl telling about that and your dad. And then she like, yeah, you better get your mom. Your mom should have mind her business in the first place. Mom, hit her. You saw her. And the, I'm not gonna talk about her mother. Her mother didn't age gracefully. That's all I'm saying. They said, no. they yeah. said her mom was 52. What? Her mom ain't no damn 52. If her mom 52, my mother's 45. Oh, now that's a stretch. No, the don't, <laughs> girl, don't get wet. <laughs> mm. Mom look a good 50 something. But don't be trying, like don't. Yeah, and then your mom, how the fuck your mom gonna fight for you and you get, I mean, if y'all didn't even do a number on, when you jump somebody, you gotta jump them. The mom will sit there like, like, what the fuck? Get off my door. Get off your door. And, and Mariah still got beat up. And, and, and Mariah was on top of Toya. How you still get beat up? Y'all is funny in here. All these, see. They just, they just give me too much drag queen. They, get, that's what, they give me drag queen. I don't care if that's Atlanta or not. Like, I would want... I, you would think that a man would want to marry a woman. Not a... Not a, not a drag queen. Okay. I'm not trying to have glad. Okay. <laughs> You'll have them. Because you see me, I'm not saying nothing. But some way, somehow, my name will be put up in that. And the ball will just sat there and didn't defend us. <laughs> Okay, but don't reword that. Cause what I'm tired mean? of them coming for us. Uh -uh, Every baby. time you say something, they got <laughs> they making a video, a video or writing a post about how y'all always that look. What Miss Pen get out of my face, okay? What Miss Porter say? <laughs> I don't know what she said. <laughs> oh, you tried that? Everything you want done, baby. Episode of San Francisco. When her and Fred was you arguing, and she pulled off her wig. Let me see if I can find her fight. Oh, mm -hmm. I'll never forget that episode. But look, Kel and I are going to try to come back with a new video for y'all because y'all know I go I leave for Puerto Rico on Thursday. If Mikel is free Wednesday night, we will be back with the new video on Friday. It'll be up on Friday. It'll still be up on Friday, but I just, it won't be up. It'll just, it, you know what I'm trying to say. Because I ain't trying to break the cycle. Because I'm going to be busy the next couple of weeks. 
But we're going we gonna to be all right. We're going to keep these videos coming for y'all. I want to say thank y'all for watching. Y'all um, y'all noticing. If y'all want us to talk about certain things, just write us on Twitter and write us on Facebook. And I want to give a shout out to President Obama for giving that speech yesterday at Morehouse College. Because that speech was every thing and it even inspired me at 28 years old that I can get out there and I could go out and get a diploma in my dance so after him telling the story about the guy that went to Morehouse three times because he had to you know provide for his family the girl had a, his girlfriend had a baby he was going somewhere else he was going to go to college somewhere else his girlfriend got pregnant he went to Morehouse he had to leave you know to raise the family and then he went a second time and he had to leave and then he came back that third time and third time mm. was a charm and then he was just talking about how just because you got a degree don't think that you just going out there to make money you got to go out there to help people mm -hmm. and and don't and don't have the intentions of money on your mind and mm -hmm. you know he talked to the doctors telling the doctors that even though you're going to be making that money you know working with people you make sure you help low income people he just went and if you you know if you're going to be a husband, be a good husband to your wife or to your boyfriend or to your partner. He said that. Yes, he did. All Obama right. went off all for right. 32 minutes. Okay. He talked about Dr. King and all the other Morehouse men that come before them. Obama really like that speech was everything. And he's like, I don't care if we're in the rain. And it was you know it was raining out there. And he was just. He just he just he just did a good graduation speech and congratulations to all the graduates of you know from of all the colleges and don't forget to keep sending your graduation pictures and your um, prom pictures so we can put them in the intro of our video. You know, so thank y'all so much for being Scorpion Show fans and everything. Thank y'all for watching this video and we will be back later this week with a new video. I have to say oh oh no. Oh wait. Peace. Oh yeah, bye. No.